Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel and thank you for coming in. Uh, hit the like button if you like. If you don't, that's okay too. And be sure to subscribe. Um, I've got a little note here that I wrote and uh, it pertains to freedom of speech. Yes, it does. Always watch your words that you speak, even though you know what you mean. Others may take it as a war sign on how to act on those words. In other words, like my four, excuse me, my four leggers, if I should happen to say, and somebody's around to hear me, uh, if they're doing something they're not supposed to do, I'm going to say, I'm going to get the newspaper and I'm going to whack your, your little butts. Now just those simple words. Or my two kitties get into it. Now you quit that fighting. You don't need to fight. You know? Just words. Everyday words that come out of everybody's mouth. No matter what, you know? Isn't that freedom of speech? Well, I thought it was. I don't know. Because those that act on those words of their meanings, what they think it means, in other words, of their thinking, can lead them to the wrong place, to the wrong conclusion. Okay. You gotta watch your words. What comes out of here, goes out there you gotta watch your words where's the freedom of speech I don't get it no I don't and by the way I gotta put this in here this will be the second make of this video because as most of you know I'm new and I'm just learning it's going on two weeks now and I've gotten this far and I'm happy about that it took a lot of hours and a lot of days and a lot of nights, but I got there, got here, I should say. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hit that premiere button by accident. And before I knew it, I was doing a live stream. <laughs> no, no, I'm not ready for that yet. No, I'm not. So I had to delete that whole video. Oh, well. Learn as you go, okay? learn as you go oh my goodness if other people act on what came out of here who's to blame am I at fault because I spoke something and they acted on it in their own way oh my goodness that would not be good, would it? These glasses keep sliding down. Sorry about that. Oh, my goodness. Freedom of speech is ours. So remember, watch what you say. Because you will watch and be blamed for a needless act that is carried out by others. And others will climb in the drama bucket of those acts and hurt someone innocent. Yeah. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Mm. Let's give that a minute to think about. Words have hurt me, you know, but I didn't act on them. For heaven's sakes, But oh yes, words can hurt you because people with their thoughts think, well, they use this word and I'm thinking that's what they mean. Is that my fault? No, that's not my fault. No, it's not your fault. We have freedom of speech. And whether others, what do I want to say? Take it as their own and act on it as their way of thinking 
why are we that spoke it in the first place to be blamed? That's ridiculous. It don't make sense to me. Where's the freedom of speech? Where did it go? Well, just like everything else, I guess it's going out the window. I guess so is our freedom of speech. Because we could get, we could get, uh, like poor Lord Jesus Christ. He got crucified because he could heal people. And people got jealous of that. He knew what people were thinking. They didn't like that, so they did it their way. The way they thought that they could get even with him. And look what happened. Freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. This is our country. We have freedom of speech. Now, our country has been handled all wrong. Taxpayers' money, the workers that have worked hours, days, all their life without spending time with their family, without going on vacations with their family, without helping raise their children because they had to be up in the morning and be to work at 6.30, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, whatever, and work till 5, 6 o'clock at night and make that paycheck to support their families, keep a roof over their head, put groceries on their table for their family to eat, and taxes. Well, honey, how much did you make this week? Well, I made uh, about $350. But by the time the government took care of it and everything else, we got $275 to live on. Maybe less. This is America, richest country in the world. What the hell's going on here? I've always said, and this is not demeaning to anyone, but no matter what color we are, red, white, blue, brown, it don't matter. We're all slaves to the government. They go on their vacations, they drive their luxury cars, they have their mansions, maybe two or three in other islands somewhere. What do we have? We're fighting to buy a home. We're fighting to raise a family. We're fighting to feed that family. We're fighting the wars. We're dying in wars. We can't come back to our loved ones, only in spirit. And the loved ones are left behind to fend for themselves. But we live in the richest country, freedom of speech, and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions taxpayers' money. Where is it? It's gone. It's gone. And we just sit here now. Here we are, just sitting, just waiting, just praying, praying, and praying. Unthinkable. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Liz Cheney, I'm so sorry you lost your seat. No words. I'm watching my words. Love you all. Thank you again for coming to my channel, for hitting the like, like button, and subscribing. And may God bless us all. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.